because I always get to speak to you, Anthony, and I don't know if you could hear there Munger and Buffett talking about Bitcoin. I'm sure you saw it over the weekend at the Berkshire Hathaway conference. And then the, the, the audience kind of scoffing and laughing. It really represents the other side of the access to the Bitcoin world. What do you think when you hear comments like that? I love the six minutes of free advertising of crypto and Bitcoin. And the key takeaway is that Buffett doesn't need Bitcoin. But guess what? Bitcoin doesn't need Warren Buffett either. As a matter of fact, Bitcoin, uh, as compared to, to Buffett, will not trash talk you, Warren, for delivering just a meager 93% over the past years, uh, uh, five years, whereas Bitcoin, for the same period, delivered 800 31% returns for its investors. And one more thing, Warren, those 25 bucks you wouldn't spend for all the Bitcoin in the world, I'll bet you those that Bitcoin is continuing to outperform Berkshire Hathaway for the next five years. <laughs> Thanks for that response. Now, you say 831% return of the last however many years, but that would feed into Buffett's um, theory that the financial markets are turning into something of a casino, wouldn't it? Is it not just absolute volatility you're playing off? There is volatility, so that you have to have the right uh, time frame for Bitcoin is an asset for the long run. And you can see that in the performance, whether it's over one, over five, over 10 year, it is outperforming everything else. Now, obviously, will not put your 100 percent of uh, of the retirement funds into that. But, you know, uh, just as Fidelity announced, 401 case can now invest, uh, you know, up to 20 percent. And my case would be for uh, uh, retirees or soon to be retirees to allocate a small percentage point, single digits, because this asset uh, keeps on uh, delivering asymmetric returns. Anthony, I know you spoke to our colleagues in Paris recently and talked about Bitcoin potentially reaching 100,000 um, within the next 12 months. Uh, but I wonder about the downside and what gives you confidence that if Bitcoin does fall back from here, why the 30,000 or so mark is going to be the floor? Well, at Nexo, we have a very large OTC desk that we deal with institutional investors. And I can tell you there's an influx. There's a huge number of institutional orders right now. Good till canceled orders around the 30,000 mark. So should we break below that range uh, that you, Juliana, just described, below 35,000? There is solid buyers coming in. Then secondly, very importantly, while... Uh, uh, we are range bound. There are companies such as ours that innovate and bring out uh, important, crucial infrastructure that will drive the next uh, a cycle of institutional with widespread adoption. And last but not least, we have the Fed and they're going to be back into easing very soon.